All right. So hello, fellow Toastmasters and viewers. A very good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to the 518th meeting of Medley Toastmasters Club. I am Abhay Manu. I am Sergeant and Dance for Medley Toastmasters Club. Mission of Toastmasters Club is to provide a mutually supportive and positive learning environment in which every member gets an opportunity to improve communication and leadership skills, which in turn boost self-confidence and personal growth. In every Toastmasters meeting, we found three ground rules. Since it's an online meeting, please keep yourself muted unless you are asked to or you have the role. And when moving, please turn off your video. And second, please avoid taboo topics such as sex, religion, and politics. And third and last, please try to join the meeting in formal attire. And with this, over to the presiding officer, Deacon Thomas Abraham, who is the president of Medley Toastmasters Club. He prides in being a Medley in this January 2015 with 95% plus attendance. With this, over to you, Deacon Thomas Abraham. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Thank you very much, uh, Sanjana Tams, uh, uh, Toastmaster of Imani Gupta. And good afternoon and welcome to speakathon number three of Medley, which happens today as the 580th meeting, which I declare open with the sound, imaginary sound of this imaginary gag. Welcome once again. The fact that we've already started on to speakathon this term is a good augury. It shows the energy that we have, the enthusiasm that we have as members for going forward in our academic path, educational path. Yesterday, I briefly uh, was discussing how the Distinguished Club Award comes to clubs based on the efforts put in by the members. Today, what each of us, the members are, are doing in terms of speaking is exactly what pulls the weight in favor of a club becoming a distinguished club. As a corollary, not as a corollary, as a supplement, there is also another very prestigious award, which also Medley has been getting over the years, uh, which is uh, called the Golden Gavel. Golden Gavel, in very simple terms, it's like two news, two papers we have to write, each for 100 marks. The first paper is called club quality paper. In that, 40 marks out of 100 comes already from the educational awards that we win, for which we are awarded also in DCP. 40 marks roughly comes from the administrative kind of efforts put in by the XCOM. Now, this year onwards, the new district 120, of which we are part, has amended the rules to bring in more vigor and rigor into the quali qualification. In simple terms, members have to attend to be able, for us to be able to get the points. For example, join club meetings. We, we do that every year. But this year onwards, we need a 50% attendance by our members for us to garner the, the marks for that. And we have four such meetings each in each quarter. Themed meeting. We need 75% attendance for a themed meeting to fetch us the points. In simple terms, 21 marks out of 100 are entirely dependent on the enthusiasm of our members. Uh, more details I will cover through a short note to all of you. Just look back for a moment. If we will notice that meeting 575, a milestone meeting where we had the installation was a theme meeting. He talked about celebrating the past and, uh, as, and uh, shaping the future. We had 35 members attending. Now, the district had not announced the, the, the details of the scheme, but, but in retrospective, when it came, we needed 36 members out of 48 to, to qualify for that marks. We were 35. That's another matter. We will look, Going forward, we will look at it. We had visiting Toastmasters, Raghavan and uh, DTM Mukta, at the meeting before last. We had a good attendance of 30, but again, for visiting the Toastmasters, we need a 75% attendance. Today we are 50, 50 members, soon we will be 51, 52. Then we will require 38 members attending. So, so the legacy of Medley is very much in the hands of Medleyans. We will 
keep you informed. We will show you the uh, advanced flags. So do come in, do get your uh, fellow Midlands to come in so that we can continue the legacy. We are on course for most of the other uh, criteria. We will take care of that. This is where we need full support from Midlands. And I'm sure it will be forthcoming. And before much ado, let, let me take this forward. To do that, we have a very friendly, friendly both ways, Toastmaster, who is a lovable person, and Medlians relate to him the same way. He has been in Chennai for uh, the last 14 years, originally from Odisha. He is a uh, delivery manager, senior manager, uh, with accounts, peripheral, uh, sorry, accounts, uh, qualifications is working with one of the largest and silent MNCs called Flex. You'd be amazed if you if you Google the, the client list that they have and the product list that they have. And uh, uh, all of us who are present that day will remember the fantastic speech. That's how I remember most uh, your uh, stage presence, the speech you made about perseverance and hard work. And in fact, I find a great continuity of that theme in the theme that you're going to present today, without uh, without taking anything away from the theme, over to you, Toastmaster, Mr. Good. Hello. 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 Thank yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Was he audible? Sorry. Yeah. Thank you, President, for this uh, warm introduction. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. After few unsuccessful attempts, rather I would put like many unsuccessful attempt in my final CWA group exam, I left Delhi for in search of a job sometime in 1998. But there also I failed. I couldn't crack a break over there. My friend said, man, you lost the opportunity to be hired as a, as a fresher and the time gap that you are showing, no one works, thinks that you, you should have pursued your CWA without any work experience. I was in a dilemma, but he suggested that he can help me with an experience letter, a fake experience letter. And he did that also. And in next two weeks time, I got a call. With a lot of excitement, I reached the interview place. The interviewer just had a scan over my resume and he struck by seeing the name of the company, the experience where I have shown the experience, Rana Builder, I still remember. And uh, <clears throat> he then started grilling me about the company. <clears throat> and I tried to explain him whatever I have been briefed by my friend but at the end, he said, man, I haven't seen you in that company working under me. I was completely drained out. I was sweat, full of sweat. And uh, I told the fact, sir, I didn't, uh, I put this experience because of so-and-so reason. But post that, I made a point that fake is something I cannot carry the burden of it throughout my life. So I gave up that and I post that I put my experience field at zero and my education I failed, I failed, I should have lay, failed 11 times. And to be honest, I got a job. No doubt it was a very uh, less salary, but I grew from there. So looking back to those days, I feel honesty become part of my life. And that's how the theme of the day came into my mind. That is advantage truthfulness. For the benefit of the audience, let me brief about the meeting, <clears throat> the speakathon. The, the speakathon is nothing but speeches and their evolution. And this provides an additional opportunity for the members to complete their speech. Also, it helps them to or to, uh, it qualifies them to participate in uh, uh, ICE, 
international international speech uh, 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 competitions and also it gives them a feel of the contest to brief you about the session we have seven speakers today seven prepared speakers today and the meeting has been divided into two sections two two sessions the first part will have three speakers followed with a small tt session to relax ourselves table topic session and then will be evaluated and the same structure will continue in the uh, uh, after a gap of uh, uh, 20 minutes for a tea break i would i would also suggest the audience to rate the speakers immediately after the speech is over rather than waiting for the evaluators evaluation now every toastmaster meeting is the progress of the meeting is monitored by a person is called the general evaluator and today we have a general evaluator who is by profession a management accountant and is associated with one of the biggest and prestigious banking organization of the world and according to him it is not necessary to be truthful every time it depends on the situation with this i would like to invite our general evaluator today sankar govind rajan over to you sankar okay. thank you tm modi and um, good afternoon fellow toastmaster and honorable guest <clears throat> in today's life <clears throat> many of us are more interested to receive feedback from others in order to scale in order to upscale ourselves but the question will arise are we getting adequate feedback on time but if you ask me the majority of the people answer will be as no for example if you are writing any exam at least it will take for one to two months to get the feedback by way of results if you are working professional you need to wait three to six months to receive a constructive feedback from your manager Similarly, for a business people and launching a new product, they need to wait considerable amount of time to receive input from customer for the improvement. But into Toastmaster world, you will receive a constructive feedback from the fellow most Toastmaster in a couple a couple of hours time when you completed your speech. This is one of the beauties in Toastmasters meeting. So today I'll be playing the role of general evaluator who will evaluate the entire proceeding of the meeting, like. what really went well what it didn't well and how it can be improved i will share with you my feedback at the end of the meeting i am not alone to evaluate the entire meeting and i have two effective teams with me today one is the evaluation team they will make their grand entry in the later part of the meeting and another very important team is the tag team i strongly believe that tag team is one of the most important team in toastmasters meeting i'll tell you why other than tag team if you notice on any role in toastmaster they will perform the role for a limited period of time but the tag team evaluate all the speeches from start to end and they will share the result with us so for the benefit of guest tag stands for t stands for timer timer play a key role in every toastmasters meeting because they keep track of all the speakers time and alert when to start and when to end the meeting on time so today for a timer role we have the person who is a avid reader and likes to read philosophy and politics so when i asked about the theme uh, he talked about is uh, always the honest person and uh, whenever the the secret happened between the people especially with his friends he shared with him and uh, he proudly called him as the secret keeper so please put your hands together virtually and i request toastmaster abhiman you to read about his role objective thanks jay shankar i hope you are able to listen me yeah and uh can you give a thumbs up whether i am audible or not you are audible uh, we can i can hear double voice or so i'm not sure if others okay uh, so good afternoon once again 
So as a timer for today, I will table, I will time three types of three section speeches that are table topic speakers, prepared spe speeches, and evaluations. I will alert each speaker of the time they have left using green, yellow, and red diagram, which will denote the specific time remaining. For the prepared speeches, I will change my background to to green at five minutes. Okay, I. Oh, uh, just, just a second. And uh, yellow at six minutes and red at seven minutes. Similarly, for the evaluations, I will show, I will change my background color to green at two minutes, yellow at two minutes, 30 seconds, and red at three minutes. And for the table topic speeches, I will show green. I will change my background color to green at 1 minute, yellow at 1 minute 30 seconds, and red at 2 minutes. So when I show red, you still have 30 seconds to complete your speech. And every time I change the background, I will I will also use a buzzer sound. And this is the buzzer sound. I go, it is loud and clear. So whenever I change my background, let's say from green to yellow or yellow to red, I will hit this buzzer button. And uh, also, I request all of the speakers, evaluations, evaluators to pin my video frame in the Zoom so that they get to know how much time they have left using my background color. But this over to you, Jay. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Abhinman. You. So moving on to the next role is called uh, A, stands for R counter. I find this is one of the unique roles in Toastmasters meeting. Because most of the time when the speaker himself may not be noticed uh, what kind of clutch words while delivering the speech. This the R counter carefully keep track of those words. For R counter role, we have a person working in a garment manufacturing company as a production manager. When it's comment about the theme, if we are honest and truthful, we will not get fear and he feels that is the harmer for us. Our father of nation, Magatma Gandhi says, truth always triumphs. Through this, we got the independence even in Magabharata also. Please put your hands together virtually and I request Toastmaster Periya Sami to read about his role objective. Toastmaster Periya Sami. Thank you, Ji. Okay. Hope I am audible. If I am audible, yeah. give your thumbs up. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. My role as an accounter is to note and keep track of words and sounds used as a crutch or pass filler by anyone who speaks during the meeting. The use of inappropriate interjections such as and, well, but, so, like, you know, as well as sound like ah, uh, um, uh, will be met with an audible click. I will note any uses of the crutch or filler words mentioned. At the end of the meeting, I will give my report to General Evaluator. Over to General Evaluator. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Toastmaster Periya Swami. So, moving on, one of the critical role in the TAC role is G, stands for grammarian. While the speaker uh, preparing the speech, they always tend to inject some of the powerful words or uh, sentences to make the good presentation or impressions to the audience. Grammarian role to capture those words and present into in the Toastmasters meeting. For grammarian role, we have energetic person who is HR by profession and a sports lover. When we asked about a theme, she pointed out, we always know the story about the shepherd who called out tiger, tiger for fun. And when real tiger came and hit his sheep one day, it is a classic example to show us that being dishonest a person would lose their credibility. I would request Toastmaster Pavitra to read about his role objective today. Can you hear me? Yeah, Pavitra. All right. Thank you, G, for the introduction, uh, for the kind introduction. 
for the benefit of guests and new members i would like to brief about my role as a grammarian it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers listening carefully to their language usage i'll take note of any improper usage and also outstanding words phrases sayings or thoughts as the grammarian it is my duty to introduce the word of the day i will just share my screen and let me know if you all can see my screen are you able to see my screen all right so the word of the day today is uh, legendary legendary is inspired from this character called barney stinson from how i met your mother which is a leading english tv show it is it is an adjective it means relating to or characteristic characteristic of a legend or it also can mean well known and famous is as follows pele is the most legendary football player of his time right so i would encourage all the speakers to use the word of the day as much as possible today and i will give a detailed report as and when called upon by the ge uh looking forward to a legendary meeting over to you ge okay thank you toastmaster pavitra so now i will take a small pause now and i will come back with you with the legendary evaluator in a short span of time over to tm od thank you general evaluator toastmaster shankar so with this we are entering into the first session of the speaker thon the best part of truthfulness or i would say the advantage of truthfulness is it becomes a part of life and if it is lie we have to carry the burden if burden of it throughout our life and our first speaker who is one who is practicing this even he emulates is to his next generation by bringing his son to our meetings briefing about exposing himself like how he is behaving and what is the true nature of him as a father to the outside in front of the outside world and uh he says that according to him he is not uh is not trying to make anything that would breach the trust of a person to evaluate his speech let me call his evaluator dr sampat sourirajan to brief about the project dr sampat sourirajan please so i am not an evaluator today i am i am evaluating raghubai oh i am evaluating ramesh oh sorry sorry okay no yeah, problem so please yeah. please yeah yeah thank you dm modi uh, toastmaster ramesh murugan speech is to learn and review basic research methods and present a well organized well researched speech on any topic the speech timing is 5 to 7 minutes all the best ramesh thank you toastmaster dinesh uh, so join me in inviting toastmaster ramesh smile can take you miles ahead smile can take you miles ahead toastmaster ramesh over to you thank you toastmasters of the day am i audible yes thank you what is the longest word in the english dictionary this particular word i recently got from our medley whatsapp group it goes like this you may be thinking it is nimono ultra microscopic silico vulcano canconiosis no the answer is the longest word is smiles do you know why because there is a mile between the first letter and then the last dear medlians fellow toast masters and dear guests smiling is one of the easiest thing in life and has many many benefits 
As per the data from Portman Healthcare Infographics, a child on an average laughs 400 times a day, while an adult only 20 times a day. No wonder why child laughs more, because most of the funny movements happens at school. One day, the boy was asking, answering to the teacher's question, uh, Miss, my father's name is laughing and my mother's name is smiling. Teacher responded, hey, you must be kidding. No, no, miss, that's my brother. I am joking. Yeah, please kindly bear with me all these mocker jokes. The other one is, teacher asked the student, why are you late today? The student responded, because of a signboard down the road. What does a signboard have to do for you being late to the school? The student said, the signboard said, school ahead, go slow. Yes, smiling is most important in life. You don't stop laughing because you grow old. I could see a lot of people, the smiling face. You don't stop laughing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop laughing. So there are so many research have been done in the subject of smiling. Research have studied, studied the long list of benefits of smiling. In this presentation, I would like to share few benefits of smiling which inspired me a lot. Number one, attractiveness. In 2011, there is a findings by researchers at the FACE Research Laboratory at the University of Aberdeen, Scotland. Subjects were asked to rate the smiling and attractiveness. They found that both men and women were more attracted to images of people who made eye contact and smiled than those who did not. Also, as per the statistics from the Portman Healthcare, 71% of women and 58% of men rate a smile as the most desirable feature in a partner. A smiling face attracts everyone. Hope you all agree with me. Number two, on the most memorable moment. Smiling facilitates a cherish one memories. You all might be recollecting this. Mr. Chandramoli is seen in the restaurant from a Maunaragam movie. is one of the most charming moments ever witnessed on the silver screen. Number three, successful. A legendary, like the Mastro. A.R. Rahman, who won two Oscars at the same time, is an apt example for more contented and successful personality. Studies have shown that people who smile regularly appear more confident and are more likely to be promoted in the profession and are also more likely to be approached. Try putting on a smile at meetings and business appointments. You might find that people react to you differently. The next most important is the pain threshold. Charlie Chaplin once said, I have many problems in my life, but my lips don't do that. Don't know that. They always smile. He lived by being an example that pain can be overcome by laughter. Next, my favorite is Nesamani contractor in a friend's movie becomes so viral. Why? Because smiling is contagious. Smiling spreads like wildfire, irrespective of the scenario. It creates a ripple effect, makes everyone around you feel better. Yes, it is also scientifically proven that smiles are contagious. Norman Cousins was diagnosed as terminally ill. He was given six months to live. His pain was so great, he could not sleep. Laughing for 10 minutes, he found that pain relieved for several hours so he could sleep and he fully recovered from the illness and lived for another 20 happy years. A study from London University's college stated that happy, cheerful people are 35% more likely to live longer. Yeah, when you smile, your brain releases tiny molecules called neuropeptides to help fight off stress. Researchers at the University of Kansas published findings that smiling reduces the body's response to stress and lower heart rate in tense situations. 
this is the need of the hour smiling strengthens the immune system yes i could i could read all your mind now immune system helps reduces covid 19 situation according to dr lee s berg from loma linda university california usa laughter improves the quality of your blood in tamil there is a famous proverb vai vittu sirithal noi vittu pogum meaning if you heartily laugh your diseases run off so i would like to conclude my speech with three simple ways to smile more number 1 practice smiling in front of a mirror start this your day with smiling practice start your day with smiling practice number 2 smile at everyone you see every day whether it could be an online meeting or a face to face smile at everyone you see every day the third most important keep a smile journal take a couple of minutes at the end of each day to write down a brief description of every time you smile and why over a time you will start to notice a pattern and begin to recognize the interactions and occurrences that bring a genuine smile into your face two friends helped in preparing the speech one is google the other one my new friend alexa amazon alexa Alexa can you laugh Of course i can laugh ha ha ki ki tu ko ke ke ko ka 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 With this smiling moment i would like to say a big thank you over to those master of the day Thank you Ramesh ha 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 Thanks for bringing that smile to me and making you laugh by changing your evolutor from Dinesh to Dr Sampath Sori Rajan Let's move to our second speaker. Curiosity creates suspense in mind and encourages a person to find an answer to that curiosity. If the results are trustworthy, the curiosity subsides, calms down, and trust prevails, changes the mood of the person, improves the social relation. Otherwise. it again increases create, uh, more curiosity creates more questions to find the truth and i am more curious to know about my next speaker who at the young age became a dtm always energetic to take up any role and accommodative accommodative for everything any guess yes she is our dtm sugandhi priya swami to brief about her project let me call up her evolutor another curious person dtm guru prasad sir please brief about the project thank you to master of the day to master agna the speaker is presenting her uh, speech in the project research researching and presenting the purpose of this project is for the member to learn or review basic research methods and present a well organized well researched speech on any topic timer the time length is 5 to 7 minutes thank you and over to you dtm guru thank you dtm guru prasad so please join me in inviting dtm sugandhi priya swami curious case of sugandhi priya swami curious curious case of sugandhi priya swami dtm sugandhi priya swami over to you sugandhi they say the heights reached by great men were not attained by sudden flight but they were attained when others were busy sleeping and these great men were toiling hard at night good afternoon my dear fellow toast masters and guests Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do not know if we are hardly hard at night by choice or by practice, but the World Health Organization, per the report published in the year 2017 in the month of October, states that 57% of the world population is suffering from sleep disorder or sleep deficiency. which means that we do not get adequate hours of sleep every day now ladies and gentlemen when we have such a huge amount of the world 
population suffering from such a sleep disorder, quite naturally, the finest medical school in the world, the Harvard Medical School, two professors by the name Professor Charles Siesler and Professor David Bruxton came together and researched on the consequences of sleep disorder and, and the consequences were named such as loss of appetite, loss of concentration, hair loss, obesity, and of course, they didn't name a sleep order, but then it is prevalent among Toastmasters. We also have a sleep disorder wherein because of not sleeping adequately at night, we also tend to fall asleep during a Toastmasters meeting. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to further tell about sleep disorder or the consequences of not getting adequate sleep. We already have enough problems to worry about. So today I'm going to share the solution to this world problem called sleep deficiency. We are in the golden era, thanks to Corona, where we don't have to spend hours commuting to our workplace every day. So why don't we put use those golden hours that we have saved every day and getting a power nap. I understand that our schedules have changed drastically. So I have researched, tried and tested a few strategies by which you will be able to take power naps at any point of time. Just go to sleep then and there at any point of time like a baby. And this I have categorized into three sets of people. The first tip is for early risers. People who are used to waking up at four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning before the entire world wakes up and they do a fair amount of work and by 10 o'clock they have some idle time on hand. Well, now this is the ideal time to go to sleep. Go to the kitchen, warm a glass of milk, add some sugar, turmeric and pepper and drink the milk while it is warm. Ladies and gentlemen, the important thing that you have to notice while drinking, sipping the milk, please don't sip it, start drinking it. As soon as you finish drinking the milk, there should be at least a tear, a drop of tear in your eyes. Only then it will show that you have adequately heated the milk. If you're not getting the tear in your eye, next time heat the milk a little longer. After 15 minutes after consuming this glass of warm milk, you will fall asleep like a baby. Now this is actually a legendary strategy because this tip of consuming warm milk and going to sleep can be used at any point of the day. You need not only use it at 10 o'clock, you can use it in the afternoon, in the evening, at any point of the day. Now the second tip is for people who do not like milk or who do not, or who call themselves as vegan and who wake up in the morning around seven o'clock, eight o'clock and have time after breakfast. Now before having breakfast, heat a few drops of castor oil and a generous amount of gingerly oil and apply it on your scalp. Let your scalp soak in this oil mixture. Give it a gentle massage. By about 15 or 20 minutes, let that oil soak in, then go have a warm water bath. Come back, have a nice breakfast, presumably something like pongal or masala dosa or puri masala, something good enough to feed your appetite. The cooling effect of the oil plus the soothing effect of pongal or masala dosa on your tummy will immediately put you to sleep. Now, this is also a legendary tip because it not only helps you during the week day to fall asleep to get a power nap but you can also use this tip during the weekend to sleep for an extended time. The third of course is people like many of us who can sleep in the afternoon but only in office. So for those of us have a good lunch after about an hour start running around the house or climb the stairs up and down or do some strenuous physical activity. According to the Harvard Medical School white paper Doing these types of strenuous physical activity will induce fatigue, which in turn will accelerate your sleep. So these are some three tips using which you can immediately go take a power nap. Drinking water, drinking milk or taking castor oil 
all these are well researched and has been put in practice by your ancestors thanks to ancient ayurveda now ladies and gentlemen you might all be thinking that i have given you a solution to the problem called sleep deficiency but what if you fell asleep and you're not able to work get up and start resuming work well let me not create new problems let me also give you solutions after your power nap head straight to the kitchen grab an ice cube splash some water on your face and start rubbing the ice cube on your face you will immediately wake up and look so fresh i just did that before our medi meeting today the next tip of course is in the refrigerator there will be some unused mint leaves start chewing the mint leaves according to ancient ayurveda mint leaves immediately alert the brain and they also help in digestion so you will become active once again and will be able to start resuming your office work or your home work if these two tips does not work for you i'll give you one more tip also from ancient ayurveda boil a glass of water not milk toast masters but water add turmeric and pepper and drink it and immediately it will pump up your adrenaline and you will become active Ladies and gentlemen, when the whole world is trying to discover a medicine for Corona, well, you might be wondering what stupidity is this to sit and research about sleep deficiency and thinking about solutions to it. Well, last meeting itself, we all decided that I am stupid, and that's the curious case of Suganti Pereira Sami. Over to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, DTM Suganti. Hope the curiosity has gone down a little bit. If you're still more curious, wait for a few more speeches from where in the coming weeks. Okay, let's move to our next speaker. Truthfulness is a practice which is generally stopped for many reasons when you grow up, but it can be cultivated by associating with some established persons. and our next speaker is one such personality dtm sampath sourajan famously known as dr souri who loves music humor reading books watching cricket and also one of the early members of madly and to evaluate his speech let me call upon his evaluator again one more dtm dtm chandramouli to brief us about his project dtm chandramouli please thank you very much tm modi uh, our speaker dr souri is doing the project called introduction to toastmasters mentoring and uh, there are two purpose statements the first one is for the project the purpose of this project is for the member to clearly define how toastmasters envisions mentoring and the second purpose is for the speech in itself the purpose of the speech is for the member to share some aspects of a previous experience as a protege uh, all the best to the speaker back to the tmo thank you thank you dtm chandramouli so medlians please join me in inviting dtm sampath sourya rajan momentous mind minders through mentorscape momentous minders through mentorscape dtm sampath sourya rajan over to you sir am i audible yes very much thank you who is a mentor in toastmasters he or she is the person the speaker suddenly remembers the night before the speech <laughs> that was just joking just to wake you up if somebody is sleeping after suganti's training mentor i am giving a quote here mentor is a person who enhances the performance of the protege by discovering kindling refining and augmenting talents a great quote the other is speaking to you now good afternoon 
Toastmaster of the Day, my dear friend from the land of Odyssey, and 20 plus Toastmasters and guests who are here for this Pickathon meeting. Why did I put this title as Momentous Meanders through Mentors Game? Because three M's. My mentor told, alliterating triad will get you five marks from the evaluator. My disclaimer is I'm not going to do a traditional mentor description, but I am going to parade a few mentors, serious mentors, not that the cosmetic agenda mentors, whom I have met in my life. That will indirectly define the mentor's role and also give some insights. My first mentor in Toastmaster was Madam Gita Punuchami CTM, long back. She was younger than I. She had less educational qualifications and worldly experience. So what? My wife is younger, but a boss is a boss. So the mentor is a mentor. I met the best of her experience and learned quite a bit about Toastmasters. Point is, anyone can be a mentor. There is a popular misconception that mentor is for editing, correcting the script. Nothing can be further from the truth. One of my mentors in Bahrain, DTM PT Thomas, never wanted to see my script. He was more interested in seeing my speech delivery. He said, what you deliver is the ultimate speech, not what you write. So a mentor is more than a proofreader. Mr. Dev Sharma was my first boss in job. Once he told me to start, take up a project which was totally outside our area. I told somebody else probably can do it better. He said, no, you can do it. He went on reassuring and encouraging me. And in six or seven minutes, I did a great project and it invited many new projects of the same type for our company. A mentor is there to reassure the meeting. Let me go to my alma mater, IIT Madras. My PhD guide, Professor Aravindan, was an expert in assessing the needs of each student. He, the dose of his guidance will vary accordingly. He leaves some people free. He guides some people. He pushes some people. He even drives some people depending on the needs. So I say, the mentor should assess the mentee and never do over mentoring. Let's go off academic. During my school days, I was learning Veena play. My teacher, Mr. Krishnamurti, used to sit in a chair and sing vocally. And we have to play it on the Veena. A very tough job to unravel the musical nuances when somebody is singing. But he challenged us and simultaneously, he also encouraged us. So it was a great way to learn. So a mentor may foster self-learning by the mentee. One of the legendary mentors I have met was my high school Tamil teacher, Mr. Lakshmana Sharma. His inspiration has lasted lifelong for me, making me a Tamil addict. Every Tamil work, ancient and modern, I have been doing excursions into or my tribute to him. Inspiration is the hallmark of a true mentor. I am a very good mentor, trust me. This is no time to be modest. I'm quite busy and I don't have room for many people, one or two be applied. My method is not pushing too much, giving a lot of suggestions and reassurance, no proofreading. More than that, I believed in total mentoring, not just speech mentoring. All activities in Toastmasters and all roles in Toastmasters should be covered 
during the mentoring. I am fortunate to have a few mentees like this who approach me every time. Toastmaster Vijayarajan of this club is one such. I believe in allowing them to evolve in their own model. I don't want to mold the mentees in my model. So a good mentor should allow the mentee to evolve by self. My dear friends, today I showed a few mentoring situations and drew a few sentences at the end of each paragraph. Let me recapitulate them as a summary. One, anyone can be a mentor. Two, mentor is not a proofreader. Three, mentor's job is to reassure. Four, mentor assesses the needs and never overdoes mentoring. Five, mentor can foster self-learning by the mentee. Inspiration is the hallmark of a good mentor. And seven, mentee should evolve by himself or herself. Good luck to all mentees and mentors of Medley. Back to the Toastmaster. Thank you, doctor, for making me understand the meaning of the speech title. With this, we come to an end of the uh, first half of the prepared speech section. And before we move to the evolution section, I think it is the time to relax a little bit and enjoy the table topics prepared by one of our Toastmaster Amita Tattikonda. Toastmaster Amita Tattikonda. According to her, She believes that honesty and truthfulness is important to avoid the disadvantage of carrying the load of lie further. And I'm sure with her skeleton structure, it is very difficult to carry the load of lie. So let's please join me in inviting Toastmaster Amita Tatikonda to take us through the table topic session. Amita? Hello, uh, can you all hear Over me? Over to you. Yeah. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to the TT session of Speakathon. So for today's uh, uh, session, I would like to give you all topics which are basically life quotes and I hope that uh, it will be easy for all of you to understand the topics and also attempt so I'm going to share my screen, so just a minute. Yeah. So welcome to the PT session. And the first speaker I would like to call is Toastmaster Pranav. Toastmaster Pranav, your topic is what we think we become what we think will become Toastmaster Pranav. Amita, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Pranav. Okay, super. Thank you for the topic, Amita. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, nice to be here. So this is a very relevant topic to me because for someone who is uh, um, pursuing an entrepreneurship, I'm getting coached by a number of uh, not only wealthy but very successful individuals across the world, especially from the United States. So the one message that they always tell me is, if you think you can never do something and you're not going to achieve, you're never going to become successful. The one thing they always stress and press upon is that you think that you are going to stand in front of thousand people and who are all going to cheer for you when you become successful and you're definitely going to achieve that goal. And yes, so this is the thing that uh, I have learned is that what you think is what you ultimately become. So always think that you're going to be very successful and uh, be positive always. That's what I would like to say. Over to you, Amita. Thank you, Pranav. Very well said. So moving on, I would like to call upon Toastmaster Rohit for the topic Life is not an MP3 player where you can play what you want, but it is like a radio where you have to enjoy what is being played. Toastmaster Rohit, 
life is not an mp3 player where you can play what you want but it is like a radio where you have to enjoy the what is being played over to you yeah thank you amita uh, good afternoon i know audible am i audible yes sir yeah go ahead all right thank you uh, table topic master so uh, very good afternoon to uh, all the guests and fellow course masters i do believe that uh, it's very true uh, mp3 uh, our life is not a mp3 player where we can do whatever we want at any point of time but there are certain rules and guidelines we need to follow as well so uh, and there are times where uh, we need to listen to or we need to follow uh, what is being uh, drafted for us so it is not uh, our life is not uh, so fluid or uh, so flexible where we can do whatever we wish we need to uh, we also need to be mindful of uh, people and the situation around us we ensure that uh, nobody gets offended or we do not hurt uh, anybody so there are times where uh, we can uh, we can uh, we can we can chart our own uh, path and do what uh, we wish but there are certain guidelines we need to follow at the same time so uh, and also there is but uh, there are times where we have to listen to what is uh, drafted and what is uh, put in forth uh, for us certain guidelines which has to be followed at uh, all times they could be even norms written or unwritten and uh, these are need to be these and these need to be followed at uh, all times irrespective of what the situation is so it, our life is not uh, well, hence life is uh, not all about mp3 player or uh, where we can do whatever we wish at the same time it is uh, radio uh, at times we need to tune to uh, the radio as well where we need to listen and uh, be uh, uh, satisfied with what is being played in life so this is what the life is all about uh, thank you uh, toastmaster thank you toastmaster for thank you thank you thank you, thank you table topic master sorry yes sir thank you sir so for the next speaker i would like to call upon toastmaster sundarajan are you here yes table topic master I'm here. Uh, yes, sir. Your topic for today is don't always expect, but you can always hope. Don't always expect, but you can always hope. So, Master Sundar. Yeah, thank you, table topic master. It's a nice, positive table topic. Don't always expect, but you can always hope. Uh, hope is a thing which uh, is a must for in our life, and which is axle in our life to move ahead also. But expectation is like a target we move and every time in life we are not going to achieve everything we plan and keep a target so at that time the journey has to continue towards the goal the and the motivational part is hope only so hope is axle and to move ahead towards our target hope is the thing which uh, which is a chariot which is going to push ahead or which is going to motivate which is going to inspire us but as we humans certainly we expect something in return at every stage in our life uh, i remember as a young man what i expected as a middle aged what i expect and what i expect now so expectation cannot be avoided in our dna but always we can make sure hope is there to push ahead so i agree with you table topic master over to you thank you sir uh, so next i would like to call upon toast master venkateshan are you here yes 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 sir the topic for today is sometimes the heart sees what is invisible to the eyes sometimes the heart sees what is invisible to the eyes uh, over to you toast master venkateshan all the very best thank you uh, table topic master good afternoon everyone used to say that uh, life is pre written but according to me life you can rewrite that i would like to take i may sir take my personal example in 1986 when i have completed plus 2 those days in maths physics chemistry the person 
should get 70% aggregate to write Department of Technical Education. Unfortunately, I got only 69 percentage. You know about our site's relatives. They used to ask me that, what happened to you? Why you were not eligible to write that? Why you missed all these things? As I said, life is rewrite by ourselves. I have successfully completed BSc in the government college with very good marks. And plus, I did in 1988 Diploma in Computer Applications in Data Metrics. Then I pursued my career as a MCA and I joined in a very good big company, big corporate in the IPO field as a computer technologist. Later, I have shifted to seven other departments. Networking last in the trademark department to conduct a watch and infringement cases. Now I am working as a domain expert to find out the fake websites for my corporates and to my clients. Sometimes the odd sees that when I have, I felt very bad when I got six name because of only one mark, I am not supposed to write an exam. I cannot get any seat or engineering seat, but. Because of my willpower, I changed it. Adversities can be made as advantages. Thank you for the nice topic, Triple Dog Master. I would wrap up my speech. Thank you, sir. Uh, it is very well said. I would like. I would now like to call upon uh, Alex. Are you here? Alex. Okay, let me move yes, on. Yes, he's the there. Yeah, go on to the next one. He's there, but go ahead. Please go ahead. Okay, sure. Yeah. I would like to call upon yes, Shruti. Uh, yes, I'm here. Yes, uh, Shruti, your topic is everything will be happy in the end. If it is not happy, then it is simply not the end. Everything will be happy in the end. If it is not happy, then it is simply not the end. Uh, over to you, yes, Shruti. Thank you, Table Topic Master. It's quite a wonderful topic to talk on. We need to realize that every moment in our life is important. It may seem insignificant. It may seem small when compared to the big events happening. But we never realize that it's those small events that finally add. add that finally colonized all things were harsh, were pricky, but they were never they never left you without giving you any proper lesson. If you take a book, especially a ever happy happily ever after book, you realize that each chapter would always have a cliffhanger. Why? Because it means something to hook on to the end of the book. At the end of the book, when we realize that there is a happily ever after, you understand that at the end, everything is going to be good. It's going to settle down at the end of a series. It may be the end of a book. It may be end of a chapter. But we need to realize that if, if, you, if you just stop at the middle of a word, you, find, you do not understand the importance of what was going to happen because nobody on this earth can predict the future, at least not with precision. We need to realize that if you're not happy at the moment, it does not mean it's because of you. You could do something to change it, obviously, but not only because of you and the circumstances contribute to it, but maybe it's not the end game just yet. At the end of the day, the end game will come. We just need to be patient for it. Thank you so much for this wonderful topic. Over to you. Thank you for actually getting us into the essence of the topic. So before I call upon the uh, speaker, I would like to tell you all that today's table topic session is going to happen in two innings. And this, with this, I'm going to call upon the final speaker for the first inning. And I, there are, I have, I do have more uh, topics for us to go to the second innings towards the end of the session. So I would like to call upon guest Yoganathan. Are you here? Yeah, I am here. Uh, yes, sir. So the topic for you is the best time for a new beginning is now. The best time for a new beginning is now. Yes, Yoganathan, all the best. 
on thank you table topic master to provide such wonderful topic the best time for a new beginning is now so as my point of view like i am always thinking like every day is a fresh so every day it's a new start for me so in the current covid situation it gives me like uh, for all of us we, we we need to rethink like how our life is changed like uh, what are the things we need to focus more uh, it's, it's not only for our health and we need to focus on like uh, the uh, environment how we are going to initiate and how we are going to support for each other uh, so we need to always consider that the every uh, new beginning is started in the in the in the world so what are the things we are going to give to the next generation like from there how they are going to take that we that we need to keep in our mind so this is the best time for us to uh, replicate and we need to work on for this as in in the in the form of uh, truthfulness so this is the way we need to uh, achieve our our goals and we need to save our environments thank you uh, table topic master over to you uh thank you so thank you for giving me a wonderful experience in the first innings i'm sure to come again towards the end of uh, this session to entertain you guys with a few more topics that i have, have piled up for you uh thank you and over to the toast master of the day thank you thank you amita for this wonderful selection of the table topics and with this we come to the end of uh, second section of the first session of today's speakathon before i hand over uh, to g for the evolution of the speeches i would request the timer to name the qualified speakers okay uh, so you are asking for prepared speeches only right yeah only the names the qualified names of the speakers and uh, table topic masters as well okay uh, so for the prepared speeches uh, toast masters from uh, following uh, speakers are qualified so they are toast masters from this morgan sorry uh, detail sampath sorry ran sir and uh, table topic speakers all speakers are qualified thank you <coughs> thank you uh, uh, timer uh, so let's move to the next section of the uh, meeting that is the uh, evolution of the speeches and to evaluate them let me call upon the general evaluator toastmaster shankar govind rajan toastmaster shankar over to you okay uh, thank you tmod and uh, welcome back again so as i you know mentioned earlier evaluation is one of the important segment in toastmaster meeting it's like uh, beating unnecessary and limiting factors from our speech you all know that the famous quote uh, said by the sculptor it says that i just being out the statue by removing the unnecessary particles from the stone dirty is hidden inside the stone sculpture role is removing the unwanted portion of the stone from the parties similarly evaluator is one of one will focus on the speech and also provide the feedback on what is good about the speech and what and how it can be improved in further with this let me introduce the first evaluator who is the mba graduate and working as a construction company in sholingan nallo according to him his theme his view about the theme is very simple and it is better to face the truth sooner than later i would request toastmaster dinesh to evaluate toastmaster ramesh murugan speech toastmaster dinesh over to you thank you ji for the warm welcome good afternoon toastmasters and guests today toastmaster ramesh made had a, made a everyone smile with the speech on the importance of how smile is important let us first look at the positives of his speech he captured everyone's attention the very first 20 seconds by asking which is the longest english letter word in 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 the english vocabulary and he also tried to rekindle our experience by saying it was mentioned in our whatsapp group <coughs> and he said it's a synonym of smile therefore he laid the path and the aim to which his speech was about it was going to be regarding smile 
and second the amount of citations which toastmaster ramesh murgan gave he gave five to six citations and all of them were strictly in adherence to the manual since this man, uh, project requires researching and presentation he has struck about it for example when he mentions about smiling attracts uh, smiling face attracts uh, strangers he doesn't just, just, uh, doesn't say it as his opinion but says it as an 2011 finding by scotland university similarly for each of his quotations and each of his uh, statistics he has backed it up with uh, strong citations which regarding journals or books he has taken so kudos to toastmaster ramesh murugan for uh, following the strict guidelines of the speech manual and also he had very good vocal variation within himself and this was clearly uh, inhibited by the enthusiasm we had a very good example was about when the slide about a uh, pain and threshold with a photo of charlie chapin was there he lowered his voice by then he said pain and threshold he lowered his voice he softened his nature even though he was very enthusiastic before and after it and uh, and kudos to toastmaster ramesh murgan again for maintaining a very good vocal variation and as for every good speech there are there is a one particular recommendation which i have of toastmaster ramesh murgan this is a very good speech i would like to say what is that there were too many slides perhaps used in this speech nearly like 15 slides in a, a matter of 5 to 7 minutes perhaps there was a few slides which he could have removed and he condensed it to maybe five or six slides it would have been better and we would have uh, we, and it would have been more concise knowledge for uh, for uh, for example the first 30 seconds he mentions uh, as, uh, about the longest word he could have just mentioned uh, he could have uh, not share, started side share and he could have just said it by himself instead from the starting to beginning toastmaster ramesh burgan was small in the corner of our computer and also in the end he made a mark in everyone's memory by recalling alexa for uh, for to smile for him even that time he could have stopped the share, share slide and we would have seen him very big in our computer or on our phones overall it is a very good it was a stand out performance by toastmaster ramesh burgan a speech i would remember for a very long time and my takeaway was that since ramesh murugan says that smile each and every stage i met upon i should smile at all the girls i see and say that i am maintaining a smile journal as toastmaster ramesh murugan is saying about it was a legendary speech in any in every sense thank and thank you and over to you general evaluator thank you toastmaster dinesh for your constructive feedback so moving on to the next general evaluator so when i asked about the general evaluator to give about uh, this introduction he refused to give and uh, you create on own so i was recollecting as uh, so many speeches then i found out so what it can be best described it can it can be speaking in tamil tamil nadu ku or rajinikanth medli ki or guru prasad that is his clear introduction for him about his according to team uh, he used to move with a conflicting team or party socially professionally and also family circle all of them used to trust him and reveal their confidential information because he used to be a difficult he used to be a truthful for everyone i would request dtm guru prasad to evaluate dtm suganthi periya sami speech over to dtm guru prasad thank you very much general evaluator thank you for inviting me <clears throat> waking me up after those that nice speech that i heard from distinguished host master sugandeep prayasami well i think there is some telepathic relationship between my speaker and myself particularly on this topic otherwise i don't think it's a mere coincidence that for the first time i am sitting in my cot today attending this host masters meeting and not in my usual working chair that itself <laughs> says that i am more fit to deliver this evaluation jokes apart let us get into the speech delivered by dtm suganthi priyasami and and see what was in it what is there for us to take away or give our feedback as coming to the nice parts of her speech suganthi being a senior veteran and expert public speaker and a leader i am just giving a customary feedback on the structure and what i like in her speech speech 
So she knew that three always is a good number, three richest people good. And she started with a completely surprising opening statement of the heights reached by great men were achieved when others were sleeping, which gave you no clue but raised your curiosity. That was very good. And slowly she started explaining about the sleep disorder processes and she brought in three different types of people and in independent suggestions or individual suggestions for every group of them on how to overcome their speeches. Well done, Suganti. That was well-structured, formula speech, a good experience to master speech. But however, I'm going to be a bit aggressive in giving my particular speech and on your particular project is first of all, I still don't understand the relationship between the curious case of Suganti Parisami and whatever you delivered in your speech. That's point one. <laughs> Secondly, this speech expects, based on some feedback I received when I gave the same speech for the same project, you to explore into a topic that you yourselves are not aware and find out facts and figures, statistics, interviews, reach out to people, get collect them, come out with your own inference and present it to the audience. So the, my only feedback, one the, uh, the other kind of feedback on this is, it was not clear how did you identify these are the three types of people or what is so special about people being early risers or seven o'clock or sleep in afternoon. And how do you give them this particular solutions alone? What is your overall inference about the point called disorder? And what did you find out in the name of giving a remedy to sleep disorder? Of course, since your topic allows you to present an informational, humorous or any other style, it's a little amusing to me whether you are trying to make fun of the sleep disorder and gave us a research and uh, you know, informative project with a tinge of humor here and there. So except this, the fundamental idea of giving a research and presentation topic where I have my own doubts, your speech otherwise were very good and your innocent looking humors really killed it. All the best. Thank you very much, over to General Okay. Thank you, DTM Guru Prasad. So moving on to the third evaluator who has 15 years of experience in Toastmaster fraternity and has been 75 plus club as a member, a mentor, a area governor, and a division director. Currently, he served as the chief guest and chief ambassador for District 92. He also is an ex-Medlian. I would request DTM Chandra Mauli to evaluate Dr. and DTM Sambat Sauri Rajan's speech. Over to DTM Chandra Mauli. Thank you, General Evaluator. And uh, Dr. Sauri, thank you very much for taking us along in your meander through the mentorscape. What I thought were your pur pur purposeful strides in the journey. First, your choice of picking and paying tribute to all those wonderful mentors. Uh, they help me understand what a good mentor are and they inspired me to become a better mentor, right? And uh, I think it is important to respect those legendary mentors that one has had in their life and have them as a part of your mentorscape. Thank you very much for sharing this as the first thing. And the second thing is uh, the seven mentors that you had, the Saptarishis, who, uh, with whom you helped us understand the various aspects of mentoring. Each one was uh, defining one specific aspect of mentoring. And uh, you helped us understand how these seven together help you find your true north, right? And it was very inspiring that you could, you could put those seven mentors and use them to explain the various aspects. It was fantastic. And the third one is your, uh, this is the most uh, amazing aspect of your speech today. Your speech truly championed the intention behind the speech. For me, the speech is something uh, that helps an aspiring mentor like me and others who wish to be good mentors to help us find our true north with someone who has had a fantastic experience and has been a great mentor. And uh, you packed all the power of your experience in the seven minute speech. And I have not witnessed something like this before. I really am thankful and grateful that you could share it with us today. If I may, I would wish to challenge you in one small aspect. Um, 
I had the privilege of being an evaluator, hence I took notes. And uh, because I took notes, I could capture, I assume, all the values that you had to capture, uh, uh, give us, right? Um, what if I had not taken notes? I might have let a few gems slip by. Uh, and hence the challenge, uh, is it possible for you to rethink in some way so that you can help someone comprehend all these seven aspects without having to take notes? That's the only challenge that I have. Other than that, if a mere meander through your mentorscape could be so profound and meaningful, and if it could instill faith in us that one day we can be mentors who can truly enhance the performance, discover, kindle, argument and refine skills while allowing the protege to spread their wings and be better Toastmasters in person. I believe that we have achieved the purpose and thank you very much for having me a part of it. Back to Gentle Evaluator. Thank you for your wonderful evaluation, uh, DTM Chandra Bauli. So with this, uh, we are ending uh, wrapping up for the first segment of evaluation. Uh, the next, we can go about uh, the uh, tag report. For that, I would like to call the timer Abhimanyu to read about his timer report. So uh, the qualified evaluators, so do you want a detailed report? Should yeah, we need a detailed report now. All right, uh, give me a second. I'm sharing my screen now. Is my screen visible? Can you see my screen yeah. now? Yes. Uh, so for the uh, prepared speeches, Toastmasters from this moment took 730 seconds and he was at, uh, at the like, very critical boundary line. Then DTM Subhadim missed uh, for like 2 seconds. So she took 732 seconds. And then uh, DTM Sampal Sorry Rajan Sir took 712 seconds. For the table topics, speakers, Toastmaster Purana took 1 minute and 1 second. Toastmaster Rupin took uh, 1 minute and 58 seconds. Toastmaster Sundaresan took 1 minute and 18 seconds. Toastmaster Sundaresan took 1 minute and 43 seconds. Guest Shruti took 1 minute and 50 seconds. And Guest Manthan took 1 minute and 10 seconds. For the evaluations, evalu evaluation section, Toastmaster Zanias took 2 minute and 55 seconds. DDM Guru Prashad took 3 minutes and 37 seconds. And uh, last and final DDM Chand Modi took 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, with this, over to G. Okay. Thank you, Toastmaster Abhimanyu. So, moving on to the counter report, may I request uh, Toastmaster Perius Ami to read about this detailed report? Thank you, G. The all counter report, uh, Surgeon at all, Toastmaster Abhimanyu Abhi Gupta, uh, one time. President, distinguished Toastmaster Thomas T. Abraham, uh, two times, and so one time. Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Ravidath Mishra, uh, two times. Home, one time, and two times. The first speaker, Toastmaster Ramesh Murugan, almost clean speech. Second speaker, DTM. Subhanti Periyasami, clean speech. Third speaker, DTM, Dr. Sampath Sauri Rajan, sir, clean speech. Table topic master, Amita, clean speech. From the table topic speaker, Toastmaster Pranav, and one time, think, repeated words twice. Toastmaster Rohit, all five times, so two times, we can repeated words two times. And two times, but one time, um, one time. Toastmaster Sundaraisan, almost clean speech. Toastmaster Venkatesan, clean speech. Guest Shruti, but one time. Guest Yoganadan, or two times, so one time, or two times. From the evaluators, first evaluator, Toastmaster Dinesh, and two times, or three times. Repeated words about. Second evaluator, DTM Guru Prasad, clean speech. Third evaluator, DTM Chandramoli, whom one time or three times and repeated words and. So this is my report. Over to general evaluator. Thank you very much. 
okay thank you toast master periya swami so moving on into the grammarian report may i request uh, toast master pavitra to share the uh, the detailed uh, grammarian report sharing my screen just give me a minute can you all see my screen ji can you see my screen yeah yes so uh, kudos to uh, four speakers who used legendary which was the word of the day shankar uh, the ji uh, suganti dr sampath and uh, chandramouli outstanding or good usage i've just listed a few uh, good usages that were used so ganti used fatigue there was kindling which was used by dr sampath dr sampath used quite a few others also he used parade as a verb he used meanders he used alma mater he used foster he used hall hallmark he used recapitulate um sundaresan the table topic speaker used axel shruti used happily ever after dinesh used rekindle and concise guru prasad guru prasad used uh, telepathic and uh, chandramouli used championed and mere meander through mentorscape which was an alliteration improper usage there were three four improper usages which could there could be you know a slightly better version of usage for these we have the person is a is an incorrect usage we have someone with us could be an alternative way to use it so many research could be used as there's been a lot of research studies on at the young age the is it's not the right usage to use the there at a young age is the way to use it as my point of view could be better used as in my point of view so i'll come back to the grammar tip i think towards the end of the day post all speakers uh, finish their speeches over to you ji okay thank you toastmaster pavitra for your uh, detailed uh, report now i am giving back to this podium to toastmaster of the day over to tmod thank you ji toastmaster shankar so recently uh, i i read a book ditch the act written by uh, uh, leonardo kim and uh, uh, ryan poland in this book the authors have written like to become successful they have tried to follow all those un- honest things that they could do but they couldn't succeed and the suddenly came to fame limelight once they started accepting their mistakes and started sharing their uh, dishonesty and started adapting to truthfulness a beautiful book i enjoyed thoroughly reading that book and there i understood like even when we s- we share our dishonesty and adapt start adapting to truthfulness we realized that people started believing us rather than sharing some fake information and assuming that people trust us so with this we come to the end of this first session of today's speakathon we'll take 20 minutes break from here and we'll meet again at uh, 4:50 pm is that okay yes yes thank you so let's take a break and uh, see you again at 4:50 thank you i always feel bad about being judged by people when they say surya is prickly surya is arrogant do you feel the same way when you are being blindly judged by the people around you if the answer is yes here is a heuristic exercise which helps in identifying your blind spots Welcome to our course masters and guests. Today I'm going to speak about a technique 
which helps him illustrating developing self awareness and mutual understanding between individuals in a group it is about a technique called johari window which was invented by psychiatrists named joseph luft and harrington ingham it is one of the most useful exercise which describes human interaction it is divided into it is a four pane window which is divided the personal awareness into four types here we go the first one first quadrant is called an open area which is named as a area of free activity this particular quadrant has the information about a person known to himself and known to others and the second quadrant is has the information that is known only to the individual himself but not to the other persons basically this information is the personal information of an individual which he or she may not be interested in disclosing it to others as it is too personal since it is hidden it is called hidden self the third quadrant is the most important quadrant out of the four this has the information about an individual has the information which individual does not know about himself but others know about that individual and this is the most pain area in which the respondent the individual has to focus on getting feedback from the group of people for a self improvement and identification of the blind spot fourth is basically known as the unknown area and this actually has some information which is either not known by the individual nor by the respondent thus this could be unearthed by an individual whenever it is required by self discovery and prompting by others with this i did a small exercise i took 15 adjectives and shared it to six different members of our very own club medley and i asked them to choose five adjectives which would best suit my personality and these are those 15 adjectives and the results were quite interesting here you go the first quadrant has the adjectives which has been selected both by myself and by the others and these are the adjectives which is commonly the traits which the respondent felt about myself during our interactions the second quadrant is the hidden self and this was the adjective that i chose for myself and it was not selected by any one of the respondents and since this is not so personal to me i disclosed it but you as a respondent if you are doing this if you feel this is too much personal and this may, may not have to be disclosed you can always avoid it may not have to disclose it since i am showing this to you i am moving this to the first quadrant which is the open area and here comes the third quadrant the pain area this was an adjective chosen by one of the respondent and which i haven't chosen and this is the particular pain area on which i need to focus and fourth and final quadrant has these adjectives and these are the adjectives which were usually not selected by any of the respondent which is both by myself and by the other respondents and these are the adjectives which i could possess by myself and these are something which can be unearthed when whenever it is needed and wherever it is needed by prompting of other people so on a whole johari window 
is basically like an x-ray which helps in identifying one's personality within himself and it is also like a mirror which helps in it is a psychological mirror which helps in individual to build a good rapport with others over to you for fast rapport thank you toastmaster surya and giving an insight to the johri window now when when we are not honest to ourselves and when we try to take help from others or advice from others think of a situation how the advice would impact on us obviously the advice will be based on what we have projected ourselves the dishonest but our next speaker is very honest to his himself and he is a honest trier and every time he keeps trying we have seen the improvement from the day one he delivered his speech and today what he how he is delivering a speech he is none other than our very dear toastmaster mohan sundaram and to evaluate his speech let me call upon his evaluator dtm thomas abraham to brief about his project uh ragu bhai uh, it is uh, jagan not thomas sir uh no problem can i go ahead I'll yeah yeah please jagan please jagan so the speaker mohan sundaram is delivering his level 3 project 4 leadership development preparing for interview the purpose of this project is for the member to practice the skills needed to present himself or herself well in an interview all the best mohan over to the toastmaster thank you uh, toastmaster jagan so please join me in welcoming toastmaster mohan sundaram my first online interview my first online interview toastmaster mohan sundaram thank you toastmaster of the day um fellow toastmasters respected dtms and welcome guests good evening myself is mohan sundaram i am going to attend the interview in uh, cital inbound process private limited so this is a voice process job i am myself uh, toastmaster dinesh is going to with me he is a hr person from the cital india private limited so toastmaster dinesh good evening toastmaster mohan sundaram i'll be your interviewer for today for our, on behalf of a company shall we start the interview yes please tell me about a bit about yourself mohan sundaram uh, myself is mohan sundaram coming from uh, gindi where i'm currently staying to looking for a job i graduated from with a degree in engineering a uh, two months ago i have always been i choose this field because of our because i have a interest in physics and maths couple of my family members told me that this lead to the great career options one of my accomplishment in my academic year was i was speaking at the conference meeting uh, regarding a the energy window design project based on the research uh, i got a internship and then um, i had to looking for a job in a uh, full time jobs okay coming to the second question mohan sundaram how did you learn about opening yes sir after graduating from my engineering i oh, i keep okay. updating my pro- i keep updating my profile in uh, nakris and uh, couple of days before and i got a notifications and uh, through this notification i got a i got a chance to attend the interviews super super bonus indram 
how do you know about the company how well do you know about it well i really respect your company's commitment to be constantly evolving i think the growth and the innovations are key to any industries but especially in the field of technologies technologies i uh, i uh, past few years you take the quiet risk at the uh, quiet risk uh, as you entering the different markets and uh, as all the efforts are paid off and uh, so that's why i want to be asset of this company thank you describe your inspiration mona sundara who's your inspiration well uh, ever since i learned about the hawk madinos i would like to speak about him hawk madino was born in 1923 in framingham in massachusetts in united states of america his parents were silvio and uh, margaret madinos his mother had a special dream for his son whenever you when he growing hunger often told him that he would be a great writer one day hawk madino was a magazine editor when he was in a school later he planned to pursue the journalism in university of in the university of missouri after graduating from the high school his mother found a dead in the kitchen while she preparing for a lunch as sons he couldn't tolerate her passings he left the college in 1940 and uh, and went to paper factories in 1942 he joined the army air corps and later received the silver wings for his excellency after after returning to the united states of america he found quite difficult to catch a job equal to his job all of his colleagues who are working in the army got a job equal to his education after two months of searching finally he secured a job in a insurance companies and married the lady he had been dating with the he had been dating when he went to war for the next 10 years for living hell for him it doesn't matter how many hours he worked the day and night but he couldn't get a job but he couldn't hardly sell the insurance they are hardly selling insurance for this on the way to home he found a bar room for a drinks later one drink became two and two became four and four became six and finally his wife and daughter no longer endures behavior and left out days went by two years one day on the way to bar room shop he find a pawn shop with a handgun of $29 for a moment he thought he almost reached the end of his life he immediately pulled out the $29 and bought the guns and keep the keep the gun over his head he was such a spineless person at the moment he didn't have a courage to do with himself he quit that place and uh, left and went to on public libraries he picked up a several self help books like uh, motivations and a self self motivation books finding an answer for why do i been there what is my what is my alcoholic problems he discovered a uh, w clements success through the positive mental attitude ever since reading the book he find an answer for all his questions he want to meet the author of the book w clements he was a uh, president of combined insurance companies you want to meet him with the great ask questions he applied a salesman job in uh, he applied a salesman job in one of his branches in boston and later promoted to sales managers he hired uh, several young potato farmers and uh, taught them how to sell the insurance in the rural areas he wrote a manual on how to sell the insurance on in rural areas and uh, sent it to the company's head office someone there realized his potential and uh, promoted him to the sales promotional department slowly he became a friend of w clements and uh, rest became history thank you mohan sundara your story was really inspirational and i'm delighted to say that as the hr of the uh, citil company you are clearing the level 1 and i'm promoting you to level 2 of interview level of our company i particularly like your interest in physics and chemistry and congratulations and do your level best in level to mohan sundara thank you for to team modi 
Thank you, Toast First Mohan, for sharing the experience. Definitely helpful to the young ones who are looking for a change. Our next speaker is an inspirational and soft spoken person. His selection of topics and the way he delivers the speech is definitely motivate the young generation. At least I feel so. He is a resident of Adia for more than a decade and a half and associated with one of associated with IT with one of the leading auto manufacturers of the world and is currently developed a hobby of attending Zoom meetings. Any guess? Yes, you guess it right. It is our Toastmaster Sarvanan. To evaluate his speech, let me call upon his evaluator, Toastmaster Priyadarshani Bailu to brief about the project. Okay. Good afternoon to all my fellow Toastmasters. The purpose of this project is for the member to practice developing a plan, building a team and fulfilling the plan with the help of his or her team. The purpose of the first speech is for the member to give a short overview of the plan for his or her project. And the time allotted is two to three minutes. All the best to you, sir. Thank you, Toastmaster Priyadarsani. So please join me in, evol in, in inviting Toastmaster Sarvanan. You live only once. You live only once, Toastmaster Sarvanan. Over to you. Toastmaster Sarvanan. Uh, just a minute, I'm trying to share my screen. Okay. Are you able to see my screen? No. No. Can you see my project? Yes. Are you able to see this project plan? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I have some problem. Like, I mean, I'm not able to see myself. But are you able to see my photograph or like my video also? No. Uh, your name is there. No. Okay. On screen. Screen is visible. Your name is there. Ah, now yes. The screen is also visible. Not yet. You are no. sharing screen. It says. Okay, I'm sorry, actually. Uh... So I think your screen is visible. It's just that um, you have Zoom open. So can you try switching another screen so that we get? Yeah. Are you able to see this uh, project plan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Let us talk about that. So you live only twice. So this is applicable for the legendary James Bond, but not for mere mortals like us. For us, it is you live only once. Why it is important now? Because of this COVID situation, everybody live only once. So what is more important here is, I have come up with a project and my project's purpose is also like that. You only live once. You have to be very careful about that. You have to be very conscious about that because I'm coming up with a project purpose that is to develop a guideline on cleaning or decontamination of common areas in my apartment in Adaya. This is a project I have taken up with four of my apartment residences. As you know, for a typical project, there are four principles. One is resource, scope, cost, and time. These are the four principles that are needed for a project. And for my project, the resources are the laborers who are working in the apartment, like watchmen, sweepers, or iron person, or drivers as such. 
and then the apartment res residents equipments that are being used like the ppes boots gloves and masks and materials like the ones that are used to be preparing our bleach and then the detergents and everything and then the cost that is involved these are the various resources that are involved in this particular project and any project will involve some budget also the one time cost and then the recurring cost so overall it is one time cost is 25000 and recurring cost is 10000 per month and there are five key deliverables you know like a smart objective it comes with specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound so these are the five deliverables i have to enhance the competencies of the apartment residents and improving their behavior the second one is to have a standard operating procedure for cleaning and decontamination this is to prevent covid in the common areas the third one is guidelines for preparation of the bleach as well as the alcohol solution and then the last point is about best practices for sharing the knowledge and then one more important thing is determining the waste management process because in the process we should not leave all the gloves uh, ppes and everything in the apartment itself we have to safely dispose that so that is also one of the key deliverable and the milestones there are four key milestones and as you can see here some of the milestones have been already completed but we will be completing this entire project by 30th of july so that's the plan and for helping me with this i am the project manager for the nvr project and for helping me with this there are four team members one is mr mathur who is also resident in my apartment he will be working on the standard operating procedure and process standardization the second team member is mr venkata krishnan he is also apartment uh, resident he is working on the implementation portion of guidelines of preparation of the bleach and determination of the waste management process the third one is the team member is uh mr ramamurthy who is involved in the inventory and demand visibility and his project deliverable is already completed as of something to do like and mr harikrishnan is working on the best practices and sharing knowledge of with the other residents and as well as apartments so this is planned to be completed by 30th of july so this is the overall project plan and i am planning to complete this entire project by 30th of july and i will be sharing the next project of what we have accomplished as such if you have any questions we can talk about that or like i can hand it over to the Postmaster, thank you, Tiamudi. Thank you, Sarunan, for sharing a detailed sharing a detail pro 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 project. I believe it can be used as a yokotan and shared with other building uh, building owners. Okay, <laughs> I think many of us have. Uh, by seeing a person it would have come to our mind like okay this person is a trustworthy we can rely on this person or we can ask to this person and this is what happened to me when i joined madly is this is our next speaker who is a delivery management by profession and having 10 rich years of it experience he is associated with medlib for more than 3 years and recently is a area director according to him advantage of truthfulness and honesty is that people will trust your words and feel more confident in communication and this is what happened to me as well and he is our toastmaster ram prasad to evaluate his speech let me call upon his evaluator dtm sunil jos to brief about the project dtm sunil jos thank you team odi am i audible yes okay thank you um good afternoon toastmasters today toastmaster ram prasad is doing a project from the path innovative innovative planning so the uh, he is doing a project from level 2 and the project number is 1 understanding your leadership style and the, the purpose of the purpose of this project is for the member to identify his or her primary his primary leadership style or uh, styles and the purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspect of his primary leadership style or discussing discuss the leadership styles in general Uh, over to you, Toastmaster Ram Prasad, and the time limit is five to seven minutes. All the best. Thank you, DTM Sunil Jos. 
So please join me in welcoming Toastmaster Ram Prasad. Am I biased? Am I biased? Toastmaster Ram Prasad. Over to you, Toastmaster Ram Prasad. Okay. Uh, can you all hear me? Yes. Okay. So there was a uh, before a time when we start. Uh, there was a change in my title, uh, which I posted earlier. So that is one size doesn't fit all. Uh, evaluator, please note uh, the title is one size doesn't fit all. Okay. Uh, timer. I am starting now. So it's five percent slide. Yes. No, I'm not yes. starting. Yes. Five to seven okay. minutes. Yes. All right. Okay. 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 Great. Effective leaders needs to be flexible and they must adapt according to the situation. Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. I was promoted as a project manager in 2013. The team which I got were already working together for more than a year. They were highly talented, energetic and self-motivated individuals. The average age job the team is less than four years. When the project priorities are set, they will work together. They will decide who will work on the particular task, when that will be completed, and when it will be ready for the client to have a look. They will come up with the exact and proper project plan. If one person has got sick in the middle of the term, they will ensure someone will volunteer to do the job of that particular person and uh, they ensure that task also deliver on the same time on time that team got the best team award in that particular year all i have to do for this team is to ensure they are getting proper recognition when i am hiring a new person i ensure that person is cultural fit for this team there are very rare occasions I had to handle the conflict, but most of the time the team itself handled the conflicts, their problems by themselves. And they accountable for what they commit and they take the complete ownership. After a few years, I moved to a different company. All the people for the project, including myself, was hired new from different organizations. We never worked together before. The average experience of the people is around nine years. I applied the same laser spa leadership style, which I followed in my previous company. Few months later, when we into the project, we found the team is not delivering any value to the customer. There are situations they blame each other for the failure. They are not working together as a team. The deliveries are not met. The client was not happy. That time I realized the same leadership style, the laser spell applied in my previous organization doesn't fit for this team. This team need a different direction. All I said, the arranged a meeting for the team and called all the people. And the first thing which I said is a standard ways of working. From the core working time, meeting etiquettes, how they need to collaborate with each other, each and every minor and granular detail to make them as a team. I got the input from the team and I ensured it has been documented. That becomes the Bible, the standard ways of working for the particular team. Also, I found this is the mix of people from the less experienced to the maximum experience, top experienced people. They need a different approach. They need a different style when they approach, uh, when I approach them. The junior, most people, they are very new to the career and they need a lot of direction. I need to tell them this is what they need to do when they are interacting with the clients. What they need to do when they are working in the project. What is the expectation? If there is any issues, how and how promptly they need to raise it to the project manager that is me. I coached them 
I tell, told them what needs to be done. There are other senior people, so they need very less direction. They know how to do their day-to-day -day job, but they need a lot of coaching in how to work together as a team, in time management, and how to fail and succeed as a team. I did the different approach to the different people. It has been more than a year. They are working together as a team. Now they are getting matured. The empirically they became successful. This time they don't need much my direction. They need all my support and coaching in very particular areas. From my perspective, all the team members are not unique. Everyone needs a different and unique approach. The individuals are different. When they are putting together as a team, they behave differently. Sometimes I need to be authoritative when the team needs a change in direction. Sometimes I need to be bureaucratic when the time taken for the decision is very less. I need to wear the hat of coach all the time. When there is a common decision needs to be taken, I should be very conscious and getting all the team members input. I should be democratic. This reflects when I got the questioner from Toastmaster, uh, this pathway questioner as well. It gives me the same score for authoritative and the coaching. Since the people are not same, one size doesn't fit all. One leadership style doesn't fit everyone. The leader needs to be situational according to the situation and to the people. Over to you, Toastmaster Rathbe. Thank you, Toastmaster Ram Prasad. Uh, it was a wonderful insight into the leadership and uh, definitely useful to many of us the young leaders. So with this... Raghu, sorry, we... Raghu. Just a minute, Raghu. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I would request uh, Grammarian uh, Toastmaster Pavitra to share word of the day for the benefit of all the people because I believe that the second set of people has joined. They needed okay. uh, for that. Though it is shared in the chat, it is good to share it again. Okay. Yeah. Please. Let me just uh, share my screen. Can you all see my screen? Yeah. The word of the day, everybody, is uh, legendary. It is an adjective. It means well-known, famous, or characteristic of a legend. So the example of usage of this word is Pele is the most legendary football player of his time. Over to you, G. Thank you, Pavitra. Thank you. Aragu, you can take back the control. Yeah. 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 Thank you, <coughs> Sankar, for pitching in, though. Uh, the, the second set of uh, speakers completed the speeches, but uh, the, it can still be used by our evaluators and, uh, and the table topic speakers. So with this, we come to an end of the uh, uh, speech section of today's meeting and now again it is the time to relax and have fun with uh, the table topic session and to conduct the table topic session I hand over the control to Toastmaster Amita again. Toastmaster Amita uh, it's yes, all sir, yours. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, uh, hi everyone, I'm back again as your table topic master. So, to start with uh, the second part of table PT, I would first like to call upon uh, guest. Uh, yeah, I would first like to call upon guest Lakshmi Ramesh. Are you here? Yeah, Okay, I think I will move on and come back to ma'am again. 
I would like to call upon uh, guest Alex. Not here. He is signed in, but let's move on. Okay. Uh, Sampat. Yes, Sampat. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, I would like to call upon uh, Chandra Mauli. Yes, Chandra Mauli. Yes, I am available. So yes, sir, the topic for you is happiness can be found even in the darkest of times only if one remembers to turn on the light. Happiness can be found wow. even in the darkest of times only if one remembers to turn on the light. All the best. Wow. So I remember a time when I just finished my engineering. Right. And uh, when I was hopeful of going and getting a job and I was hopeful of doing well for my career. At that point in time, I realized that uh, everything was lying on my shoulders, a lot of weight on my shoulders because there is a home loan and a lot of things which were dependent on me going to work. Unfortunately, at that point in time, I met with an accident and uh, I was hospitalized. I felt for a moment that I became a burden on my family because my dad had to lift me up in a lot of places. Uh, when I should have taken care of my parents, they were taking care of me. So that was one of the darkest time in my life. But the only thing that kept me going was the fact that if I can get to this somehow, there is always a light on the other side. And um, I, all I had to do was take one step at a time and uh, take the right step in the right direction. At that point in time, all I had to do was be the best patient, do everything that the doctor said and uh, try and recover the fastest. And uh, lucky for me, I was able to recover in two months time after the surgery. Uh, I underwent an ACL surgery in my leg two screws in my leg, but I was able to recover quickly and I went back to work um, in four months time. So what kept me going at that point in time is that when someone is facing something difficult and everything seems gloomy, all you need to do is take one step at a time in the right direction and that would definitely lead you to light. Thank you for opportunity. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share this experience. Back to you, Table Topics Master. Thank you so much, sir. It was indeed very courageous of you to go through all that and also share it with us today. So moving on, I would like to call upon our grammarian for today, uh, Toastmaster Pavitra. Are you here? Yes, Samantha. Yeah, your topic is when it rains, look for the rainbow and when it is dark, look for the stars. When it rains, look for a rainbow. When it is dark, look for the stars. Toastmaster Pavitra. Thanks, Amita, for this uh, topic. Uh, I can literally relate to this topic. Uh, when it rains, look for a rainbow. And when it is dark, look for the stars. Uh, specifically, uh, once the corona situation started and we had no other way to you know, uh, meet people or socialize, he started going to the terrace uh, during nights to just see the stars, just lie down and look at the stars. That was one favorite pastime for us after the lockdown started. And wait for the rains, you know, to just smell the rain. Uh, you know, when the rain touches the mud, there is that unique smell, which they call in Tamil called Manvasanai, which is one of the best, uh, best smell, uh, best odors or smell in the world. So, and, and also we used to, you know, look for a, a rainbow sometimes, you know. So I think uh, literally we, uh, after the corona situation started, we started looking for, uh, waiting for rain, and, you know, looking out, uh, for stars after this situation. And of course, in light, in light as well, I think it applies, applies uh, when there is dark, you know, when there is a, a sad situation or when there is some tragedy uh, it is you know you'll have to look at the little things where there's a little bit of hope 
you know you could find some stars or some light somewhere thank you amita and obi thank you pavitra for sharing with us the experience of sharing at the night sky and i would like to move on to our our counter for today uh, to us master peri swami the topic for you is rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine to us master peri swami all the best yeah thank you chair of the topic master for the wonderful topic Rise above the storm, and you will find the sunshine. When you get too much of worries, when you get too much of burden, so don't worry about that. Even in lifetime, when we were, when I was studying in my college days, even I had the difficulty in paying the in paying the fees. Sometimes some of my friends helped me. So through those difficulty, I completed my college days. even my parents helped me a lot even though, though they were doing farming in villages they helped me a lot they arranged the money to send the they sent it to me for my college fees and for my tuition fees etc so those days it's like we were, i had so much of difficulty then after completing my college days one of the best college i studied i would say then i got a good job like when you have the difficulty don't worry about that that is a good life it's going to be that for you one more bad luck after getting the good job after having the after having the nice family i couldn't i couldn't to be with my parents that is a that is the only bad luck which i had so don't worry about that i had a beautiful daughter now so in the form of my mom to express my mom's feeling So don't worry about the storms. You will find the sunshine. So thank you very much for the nice topic, table topic, master. Thank you so much. And moving on to the final speaker for today, I would like to call upon Toastmaster Abhimanyu. Uh, Toastmaster Abhimanyu, the topic for you is sometimes we just have to let things go. Sometimes we just have to let things go. Toastmaster Abhimanyu, all the very best. Just one second. Let me time. Time for myself. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Take your time. So, all right. Uh, Sometimes we just have to let things go. Uh, so, one of my friend, I when I listen these words, this this sentence, I remember my friend who was uh, working for some, um, you know, uh, for a private job, and he was working too hard to get a job. In, if you know data science. Uh, he was not really interested in data science, but again he was continuously trying to get so that he would get a lot of money. So because there was this uh, uh, saying that you get a lot of money is this. So uh, I suggested him to do uh, MBA course and get into management since he was very good at managing things. That I suggested, but he was. Before the money, and he was trying to continue, continuously hard, but still he was not getting a job. So uh, after trying too hard for like eight or nine months, he even finally tried to get into management. And he qualified for it at exam, and he fell into I am Lava now. Uh, he is doing really great and got placed in a very good company. I would just say certain great things. So that great things can happen. Done. Yes, thank you, Abhimanyu. Uh, I would like to congratulate all the speakers for doing such a good job. Uh, you really got the essence into each and every topic, and each and every topic really uh, went through my heart because you guys expanded it really well. Congratulations, and over to the dear boy. Thank you, Toastmaster Amita. i'm not sure how many of you remember that the amita uh, won the ribbon in her first meeting as a guest in toastmaster medley in the table topic session thank you so now with this we come to the end of uh, the table topic session of the second session of today's meeting timer can i request you to 
name the qualified speakers so all the prepared speeches are qualified speakers for prepared speeches are qualified as well as all the table talk speakers are qualified including me i guess thank you so now it is time for us to evaluate the speakers and to evaluate i would call upon our general evaluator toastmaster shankar toastmaster shankar okay. please take the charge yeah thank you toastmaster ragunath and mm -hmm. uh, welcome back again uh, in there is a famous quote uh, used by in six sigma is that what can be measured can be improved i think that quote is rightly apt for evaluation round because we have one side it is the speaker speeches the round and another side we have the evaluation evaluator evaluating the round now after that so i can see the most of the speaker speech are kept on increasing this quote i am proud to say that it is the right uh, mixer of the words for the evaluation round moving on to the fourth evaluator now uh, who is currently working is a cts and oracious book reader and want to be a effective communicator and his journey for excellence he landed in medley family according to him about the theme if he want to become an effective communicator truthfulness and honesty are the building block as it help you can build credibility respect and influence please put your hands together and i would request toastmaster narasimhan to evaluate toastmaster surya speech over to toastmaster narasimhan thanks lord general evaluator for that wonderful introduction uh, good evening um, medlians and uh, guests i am here to evaluate the speech given by surya uh, surya gave a speech from the pathway dynamic leadership and his objective speech objectives were to present speech on any topic receive feedback apply the feedback and apply the feedback to his second speech now let's check if surya has met his objectives so uh, when i heard surya's speech i actually uh, got reminded of a legendary quote in buddhism it says it is better to conquer yourself than to will thousand battles and he started off really well he talked about johari window which is again a tool which is used for uh, self awareness and to better identify the relationship that you have with yourself and with others so what i really liked about surya's speech he was really confident right from the start he gave his speech standing up he was confident about the topic his body language was positive and he approached the speech giving part with sense of ease and calmness which was very good uh, and kudos to you for that so couple of things that i observed which were very good in his speech which i wanted to highlight uh he gave he began with the context of the speech he began by telling that you are being judged constantly i why is it important for you to know your strengths and weaknesses he said the context he said the context right there and then he moved about he got into the crux which is talking about the johari window so when you talk about say any concept or any uh, explanation that you're giving uh, the problem what happens is you tend to be a bit too technical you tend to use a lot of jargons which was not there in surya speech he clearly explained what johari window is he clearly explained what those four quadrants are and what falls into each of those quadrants he also explained it with an example so the other good thing is he spoke clearly uh he did not rush his speech so the audience were able to understand and he did not drag too much in the in the sense he did not bring in a lot of technical jargons as i told earlier uh on the areas of improvement what i felt that the ending came a bit too soon it was a bit too abrupt uh what i felt was uh okay fine you did an assessment of all these things what are you going to do with that assessment so probably he could have touched upon hey you know what with this assessment i started focusing on these areas how did you go about focusing in those areas just not into greater details but at a very high level if you had covered it that would have been a lot more effective and also spot your blind spot i thought the title as well as the overall uh, uh, say speech that you gave uh, 
could have been a little bit better because you're talking about Johari window. You could have said, hey, you know what? It's it's a window for self improvement, window for uh, uh, identifying uh, uh, areas of improvement, opportunities, etc. Uh, so in summary, uh, good body language, spoke with a lot of uh, confidence. If only focused on the content part in terms of the conclusion and also what do you want to do next once you have identified your areas of improvement. If you can focus on those areas, I think it would have been, or I think it will be a great speech. Uh, over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Narasimhan. So moving on to the, the next evaluator, uh, who is the young, energetic and uh, multi-talented person. He is a software professional who loves coding and music. I specifically love yeah, the way of evaluation. I would request Toastmaster Jagan to evaluate Toastmaster Mogana Sundaram speech. Good evening, Shankar. Good evening to fellow Toastmasters and to my target speaker, Mohan. Mohan, Toastmaster Mohan delivered a speech level three, project four, from the leadership development manual, preparing for interview. The purpose of the speech, I want to reiterate here, is for the member to practice the skills needed to present himself or herself well in an interview. Now, what are the positives of the speech? One, for an interview, you have to be strong, positive, and calm in front of the interviewer. Toastmaster Mohan was comparatively strong, positive, and calm, even when he was questioned about the organization. There he stumbled a bit, but he was confident and calm in front of the interviewer. So this is the first positive that I see. The second, before starting the interview, he mentioned the organization, the position the interviewer is, and what his position that he is, he is interviewing for, which is specifically given in the manual that you have to mention it that way, which I believe Toastmaster Mosunum has taken note of it and he has mentioned that specifically at the start of the speech. The third positive I see is that the, he had four questions in his interview. The importance of being concise in an interview. The first three questions, for the first three questions, he had concise answers. He did not beat around the bush for the first three questions, which was very good in terms of, I, I'm not going to judge what answers that he gave, but he was concise in all the three quest, first three questions. He did not beat around the bush. The fourth positive is not project specific, but rather a general speech specific. He had four questions, four answers. Well structured, within time, five to seven minutes, done. He introduced the interviewer as well, which he uh, saluted the people, general greetings, and he started off the interview. The structure of the speech was very good. These are the four positives I see. I have only one uh, area of improvement, and it is a major area of improvement. The crux of this project is to find your strengths, your areas of improvement in your general skills. Now, it is to say or it is to present a plan to build your expertise. It is to say how you implemented your strengths. So the one major area of improvement or the objective of the speech is to assess yourself. Now, have you assessed yourself? You had four questions and the inspiration. The fourth question as the first three questions were concise answers. But for the fourth question, you you went into the inspi your inspiration, which was not necessary in my opinion. You could have gave the interviewer questions about your strengths, your weaknesses. Now, what, how do you, what is your plan to overcome those weaknesses or your areas of improvement? So how could you have done that? This is the major improvement that I see, but how could you have done that? When the interviewer asked your, you a question, tell me about yourself. Now you said, I am Mohan, I'm from Gindi. You could have started off by saying, you know myself, you know where I come from. These are my strengths and weaknesses, which I, you could start off your interview that way which means you are assessed yourself. And on top of that, you are mentioning areas of improvement that and the plan to build upon. So on overall, you were strong, calm, positive. You had the, uh, the first three questions were concise and the structure of the speech. If you could assess yourself in terms of strengths and areas of improvement and add it in an interview, that would have been a very well good speech. All the very best. Thank you, Toastmaster Jagan, for your uh, constructive feedback, as always. Uh, moving on to the sixth evaluator to introduce this speaker. To introduce about this speaker, I like her about the delivery of the speech, especially with the tone and uh, the pictures used while delivering the speech. According to her, what about the theme is uh, truth can be painful, but less mess with no side effect. 
I would request Toastmaster Priya Dashni to evaluate Toastmaster Saramnan's speech. Over to Priya Dashni. Thank you, General Evaluator. Good afternoon to all my fellow Toastmasters. Today we got to hear a very informative speech by Toastmaster Saramnan. Was this speech a need of an hour? Definitely yes. Why was it an informative speech? Only uh, is it only for the legend legendaries living in the Mahalakshmi apartment of Adyar? No, every community, residential community, need to understand how we can fight this COVID nineteen. Now, why? What is that one thing I liked throughout the speech was the process. He shared a document before us, and it was so well planned. I should say it was a very structured format which was put before us. First thing, Sarvan told us as to why they plan to come up with this project. So the purpose was very clear. Then he talked about the budget, then formation of the team, and the most promising thing for me was when he said the completion date of this project. I always look for this completion date. So for me, it was. Uh, a very, uh, I will say it in this way. They say, when you fail to plan something, then you prepare to fail. In this case, definitely the plan is going to work success successfully because it was so well structured. Now, talking about the good, it's time for me to move towards recommendation. There is one recommendation from my side. I got the process thing, which was very clear. One thing which wasn't clear was the system. Now there is formation of a new system which is interconnected, especially when he talked about several teams A, B, and C, and gave us information as to who is heading what. One thing which wasn't clear was usually the system is interconnected. I didn't see how was this running. Tomorrow, if this becomes a successful team, I would like to know which is that team which really, uh, you know, connected well and how it really worked as a whole team. The reason for me not understanding the system might be because your speech was a bit fast. You moved from one team to the next team, which was very new to me. I was unaware of this uh, formation of committee, and uh, you were explaining something new which you plan to come up and execute. So, if you could have simplified this and might be for a gone little slow, then. Definitely, I would have asked my executive community, community to work towards this as well. Overall, Sarvanan, thank you for bringing up such plans. And this is indeed a very good uh, plan your Mahalakshmi Arya apartment is uh, working towards. Um, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Priya. So moving on to the seventh and uh, the last uh, evaluator. To introduce this person, I, I love the uh, facial reaction about uh, the particular person. I, whenever I see him, okay, I always know th the particular person look like a uh, Ashogan in the olden movie. So whenever we are given for any topics to him, the speaker will definitely laugh at whatever the way he is doing on the facial reaction. A lawyer by profession and uh, the past, uh, past president of Medley and area director and uh, 10 years of experience in Toastmaster fraternities. Please put your hands together to uh, Toastmaster Sunil Jost to evaluate Toastmaster Ram Prasad's speech. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, who's the timer? I mean, I, I had to log out and I can't see the time. Who's the timer? Yeah, okay, okay, thank you. Abhimanyu, right? Yeah. I had to, uh, I logged out just now, I logged in. So I'm just trying to make sure that. Well, can I start now? I mean, I didn't hear what you guys said. I just logged in. Yeah, you can start, Sunil. Yeah. Yeah, you can start. Ah, okay, okay. You can okay. start, Sunil. So, sorry, I was just logged in the time. I think I will introduce the water coincidence. Uh, good evening, Toastmasters okay. and my dear, uh, my dear friends. Uh, today, Toastmaster uh, Ram Prasad was giving a wonderful project. Uh, the, the, the project title is Understanding Your Leadership Style. The purpose of this speech is very, very interesting to share some aspect of his 
primary leadership style or discuss the leadership style in general uh, i think i am evaluating uh, the third speaker on the same project uh, the, uh, the i mean i am highlighting this because the the contents of this speech this project is tends to be very dry okay uh, because i've heard that uh, the other i have evaluated to two speakers before but i should say uh, ram prasad this is the most simple way of communicating the message which was you were supposed to do in this project uh, kudos to you and uh, i really liked it how did you do that let's see that uh, first of all he was speaking from his heart uh, toastmaster i know him for quite some time toastmaster ram prasad is a toastmaster of uh, a human being of simplicity and humanity uh, humility i think that reflected in his speech because he started uh, talking about uh, something which is very candid he said that, you know he applied the laissez faire uh, principles that the policy of leaving things to take their own course which he applied in his first uh, first first opportunity where he he got an opportunity to uh, to do it he he understood in the second time that this will not apply here he is it's a candid uh, way of telling that my leadership style which is applied there is no more suitable for another leadership style i really liked it and that is a way like you have to Uh, share the experience with uh, your audience when you wanted to convey some messages i think that is a, the plus point that is the most important message which i i took from this it was not like you were explaining going on explaining different different projects uh, it's like you were telling them see this is my this was my style and uh, uh, I, this was not applicable there and i applied it uh, in a different way and he explained it very thoroughly and you explained then you smoothly communicated why your early leadership style did not apply to your current style you different aspect was uh, done very uh, in a in a good way but as a speech i think uh, the content was good you communicated well but as a speech and this is a dry uh, area of discussion i would like to add two three things to your speech to make it a better speech one is a little bit of humor a lot of opportunity for discussions between you and your teammates i think uh, you didn't uh, use it properly a few dialogues maybe with the humor or without humor would have helped and some kind of expressions uh, i think is like uh, sitting and in interview type of like you know you see on most of the webinars today it's like sitting and doing and you know without much expressions i think uh, a few expressions which you were added and uh, with a bit of humor or dialogues you would have made this very dry subject uh, the most uh, uh comfortable and cool subject over to you um, general evaluator okay thank you dtm sunil so with this uh, we have completed uh, evaluation uh, round and uh, thank for all the evaluators who has done an excellent job so now we are moving back to the tag report so for that may i request uh, toastmaster abid ben you to read out his uh, timer report for second session so all right i will share my screen once again i hope this is visible now yeah okay uh, so for the second part uh, for the prepared speeches toastmaster surya took 6 minute and 5 seconds toastmaster mohan sundaram took 7 minute and 6 seconds toastmaster sarman took 3 minute and 20 seconds and toastmaster ramesh prashad took 6 minute and 20 seconds for the table topic speeches toastmaster chand mohan took 2 minutes toastmaster mukta took 1 minute and 30 seconds Toastmaster Perias Amy took one minute and thirty-two seconds, and Toastmaster Abhimanyu took one minute and twenty-three seconds. For the evaluation section, Toastmaster Nasiman took three minutes and thirty-four seconds. Toastmaster Chagal took three minutes and twenty-three seconds. Toastmaster Priya Darsini took two minutes and fifty-seven seconds, and at the last, Toastmaster Sunil Jhosh took three minutes and fifteen seconds. Let this over to you, Ji. thank you to uh, toastmaster abhin menu so moving on to the uh, the next tag team is the a counter so for that i would request uh, toastmaster periya sami to share his uh, report
toast master periya swami i think you are on mute yeah am i audible now yeah yeah okay i will share my screen please is the screen visible now yes are you able to see the screen yes yes yeah thank you yeah toast master of the day toast master of the day toast master raghunath mishra two hours and one noon one so frequently used to use the words and okay general elevator toast master shankar mohitraj two hours and two so fourth speaker toast master surya one so and one like frequently used words and fifth speaker toast master mohan sundaram four hours one noon frequently used words and repeated words because because sixth speaker toast master saravanan two likes frequently used words and seventh speaker toast master ram prasad frequently used words and i table topic master toast master amita one hour first speaker dtm chandramouli two hours and one so frequently used words and second speaker toast master pavitra two hours you know three three you know third speaker toast master periya sami actually i couldn't uh, I I have I I could have made lot of mistake. I could have missed uh, all of it. Fourth table talk speaker, first master Abhimanyu, two hours, one so one like. Then from the evaluator, fourth evaluator, first master Narasimhan, five hours, one um, one so. Fifth evaluator, first master Jagan, clean speech. Sixth evaluator, first master Priyadarshini Bailu, clean speech. Seventh evaluator, D C M Sunil Jos, one hour. Thank you very much, Ji, for the great opportunity. Thank you. Thank you to. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Periya Sami. So, moving on to the last tag player, it is uh, Toastmaster Pavitra to share about his her uh, grammar report. I'm just sharing my screen. Let me know once you're able to see it. Are you able to see it, uh, Ji? not a yes so uh three of them in the second session had used the word of the day in arsiman ramesh and priyadarshini kudos to you guys there were quite a few un- outstanding or good usages uh, usage uh, usages here in the meeting surya had used rapo ram prasad had used uh, the french word uh, lassis fair narsiman has had used jargon and uh, abrupt Jagan had used reiterate, stumble, concise, crux. Improper usage in the field of technologies could be replaced by in the field of technology. That is the right usage. Labors. There's no plural for labors. You could have used workmen, shop floor workers, or frontline workers. There is any issues. There are any issues. Is the right usage. Et cetera. etras was used by one of them which is not the right usage you could use it as etc however i would not suggest using etc because it's generally viewed as a you know lazy persons word you could have uh, gave was used it should be used as you could have given a need of an hour was used and the right usage for that is it was the need of the hour moving on to the grammar uh, tip um, i'm no grammar nazi of course but uh, uh, you know this role i've learned that uh, from uh, out of doing this role i've learned that you know this definitely improves learning skills and some of the usages could have been a slip of the tongue for people or it could have been used at the spur of the moment you know while making the speech due to tension uh, you know that arises out of presentation or you know while presenting a speech the grammar trip tip is uh what alliteration means so dr sampath sauri rajan had used uh, alliteration very well in his uh, speech title itself if we all had observed he had used momentous meanders through mentorscape uh, so what an alliteration is is to it's a literally literary device basically which is a series of words which begin with the same consonant sound so uh figures of speech i have not paid attention to it uh, during my school times when they used to teach english grammar because uh, i used to wonder why it's used what is the you know use of uh, learning these 
but today i kind of understood that it is more creative it makes a speech more creative more ex- expressive and also more interesting for the listener when you use such uh, figure of speeches over to you ji okay thank you toastmaster pavitra so now it is uh, time to uh, time for general evaluator to present uh, his report so to be honest i thoroughly enjoyed both the session first session and second session so there are a couple of the very good points and there are points to improvement so in terms of the the very good point is one the first is starting with the theme so tmod has vividly set up the theme by explaining his own personal example why he has chosen today's theme that was the great app for today's theme and also the tmod whenever he introduced the speaker he also created some of the curiosity to the audience so that it always lingering on the uh, speaker's mind who, who will be the next speaker and uh, i want to mention about the tt master has done a phenomenal job by providing the very good topic i think uh, this is one of the uh, meeting where everyone has qualified for award and the evaluation team also done a, a very good job by providing a constructive feedback for all the speaker i would request every speaker in case you have any clarification please get in touch with our respective evaluator and tag team also done a brilliant job i think uh, this is a session where i'm seeing for uh, timer a counter and grammarian where they show whatever the results on the screen so always there should be at the points of improvement for every toastmasters meeting the number one which i noticed that uh, today we started the meeting 5 minutes late and uh, since it's the online meeting we had faced uh, some of the technical glitches and also i noticed at uh, this time the multiple of the times uh, there was the uh, background noise when the speaker is on so i would request whoever not speaking please put on mute and also i want to mention in few of the instances where tmod has incorrectly called out the evaluator name uh, for our counter for the first segment i think uh, they missed to present uh, in the excel format uh, in the second session he recovered and uh, put it there and also i want to give a uh, few suggestions to the excom team i believe that whatever the recommendation given in the uh, the general evaluator i think that needs to be uh, focused very uh, no very diligently because why because uh, because when i attended the last sessions where the general evaluator master evaluator presented some of the tips one tip it is a word of the day after Uh, putting the presentations that should be shared in the chat window i think that it was not happen and uh, the speaker whenever the speaker speak at least for 5 to 10 seconds they have to present on the window because here the speaker are the hero and the subset of the here the subset of the product it's the ppt where we need to see the speaker first rather than the subset over to tmod thank you thank you general evaluator toastmaster sankar for your feedback and wonderful evaluation i believe uh, everyone would have taken the uh, taken a note of this and uh, will keep it for future improvement uh, with this we come to the end of the evaluation section and uh, i would request all the participants to uh, uh, to to uh, to vote the sir voter lines are open if i can request uh, thomas sir if voter lines should have been open uh, so please uh, please uh, nominate your vote for the best speaker of the day for the best uh, tt speaker of the day for the best evaluator and the f- best tag team and the best role player in terms of role player it is uh, toastmaster uh, sankran for g and toastmaster amita for uh, a table topic and uh, uh, toastmaster ragunath for uh, tmod the best thing that i have learned being honest is i found there is a lot of acceptability in the society people 
instead of uh, uh, instead of ignoring ignoring me started valuing me that is the best thing that i have experienced in all these years and of course i did not carry the burden of lying and taking it to future by lying or making a fake image of myself with that i conclude this session and uh, handing it over to our president dtm thomas abraham over to you thank thomas, you sir. thank you very much sir gmod and i would like all of you remaining uh, loyal medlians to put together their appreciation for this crew of 20 who performed a miracle i'll tell you why it's a miracle i'll tell you why it's a miracle it's almost like you know summer holidays you're back in college and the first week you start with the marathon today was a little like that after a long time we were having speakathon in response to the overwhelming energy and interest medlian show in speech making and it's not easy and we have we have managed the time notwithstanding nothing to do with the uh, drop out we have managed time very well and for that i must thank all the role players and also i must say that seven speeches we had exceptional variety or even within the limitations of pathways in terms of variety it offers we had evaluations again the variety that it showed of how you look at things perspective uh, making uh, the the voting a little difficult i must say so and particularly very very refreshing table topics very exquisite ones very well themed very well meaning I, i i enjoyed the poetry involved in it so again today to me was a demonstration of what yesterday we said team together everyone achieves more truly a demonstration of yesterday's team congratulations that will take me to an opportunity to announce the results as soon as it reaches me i'm as eager as all of you are meanwhile allow me to say one thing 15th august we are going to have a themed meeting i request all of you to block your calendars persuade more medlians to come because some of you missed what i was saying today things have changed for us to continue to be a golden gavel club we need to have much better attendance at key meetings there are 10 meetings in a year where we have some attendance compulsions we will try and make it interesting worth your while but please do attend whether you have a role to play that day or not we will give you advance notice and 15th august is one such let's see where the chief election commissioner is i think that will come meanwhile we don't have any guests left i think uh, we are more persistent than guests are but do we have uh, dtm chandramouli in yes i mean could sure. you we are hearing you after a long time what's your what's the mirror you're holding for us well, actually i i like the practice of sharing the reports as excel which fantastic i'm seeing it uh, after a long time it's very refreshing mm -hmm. uh, the tag team played a fantastic role um, as you mentioned the table topics were fantastic i i was so eager when i got a topic that i was not prepared for it rightly it was impromptu but i i didn't want to miss out the chance of attending such a fantastic topic um the speeches i see that there is a lot of effort which has gone and it reflects positively on the club so um i am happy that we managed to have seven speeches today um it is a very enjoyable uh, session indeed probably uh, a few feedback i think sure. the the evaluation level could be tweaked up a bit more that is my only uh, point that uh, i feel somewhere that uh, evaluation is more templated like you have this in your speech you don't have this in the speech that is one aspect probably it's time to challenge ourselves and overcome that right it is not a checklist but you are actually looking at the intent of the speaker and trying to drive them in the right direction so that is a challenge right this is place where you start but that's the next step to go to 
other than that being one challenge i would have for the club i think it was a fantastic meeting it was engaging for sure thank you thank you very much coming from you and uh, you are an honest person we we love what you heard from you seriously thank you very much and more particularly thank you for your time you have committed your entire afternoon we wanted you to shift around you did it without with a smile thank you very much for that because the speakers uh, you know came to us with some requests and uh, you allowed us to you know oblige them and uh, one point about uh, evaluations we are very well aware you know our demographic our profile that is why we are wanting more of expert opinion from outside we have no problems but very happy every uh, meeting we try to get more so we i will make i'll be in touch with you we want to hear more of your voice in our meetings and also if i may through you your colleagues who will have the patience and the time to help us improve as a club one thing you queued something that i forgot to mention allow me to say i think the tag players did a wonderful job uh, all with six months or whatever experience each of them did a wonderful job i i must particularly compliment them uh, i still have the results way, uh, 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 to come abhimanyu ragu sir check the whatsapp group i'll send you the result where oh in the group okay thank you yeah 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 the results uh, are soon to be unveiled i'm as eager as all of you are mm, it comes in yes the, here it goes the best speaker is dtm sampat the best tag player is pavitra sridhar the grammarian best role player is shankar the best tt speaker is dtm chandramali and the best evaluator toastmaster jagan congratulations all well deserved very i i i quite an uh, endorse the collective wisdom of this group so with this we still are on time i will declare anything anything else in the agenda that i need to perform otherwise with this imaginary gavel sound i declare closed this meeting 580 and open up our very large chat room over to the chat room thank you so since thank the you. 